It seems like common sense. If you set a trap to hurt people, like say putting nails on a public trail or in a park, it should be considered a crime. But somehow that's not addressed in state law, at least not yet. CBS North Carolina political reporter Bo Minick traded out the General Assembly for the Greenway today and found out what inspired this bill. Along the trail at Umstead State Park, this is a walk that Christopher Hayden does four or five times a week. I just love the fresh air, take a break from work, um, be alone with my own thoughts. For him, he often looks at the scenery, the trees, the sky. He says there shouldn't be a reason for him to look down. So it's pretty scary that someone's just putting out spikes. I can't really think of the, the reason for that. On a trail in the western part of the state, in Jackson County, someone back in February put spikes where people walk or run. Someone's foot was impaled on one of the spikes. Sixty were placed in an 18-mile stretch. No one was ever arrested. We saw that there was no real provision for someone maliciously setting booby traps in parks, period. And so that's really what made me jump into action was, well, we need to address this. Republican Representative John Bradford introduced a bill that would make it a misdemeanor to set a trap in a public park. But if someone sets a trap and it injures a person, that would be a felony. Hayden says it's a shame that something like this even has to be addressed by state law. I'm a little surprised it has to be a state law that it's not addressed by anything else. The bill passed the House and is now on to the Senate. In Raleigh, Bo Minnick, CBS, North Carolina. Well, the